Hi guys, today we'll be doing a camera comparison between the Asus Zenfone Zoom and the Galaxy Note 5. Let's go do this, baby. Alright, in this first test, I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo with both phones in auto mode. Let's go do this. Ready? One, two, three. Alright, with the Asus Zenfone Zoom. One, two, three. All right, taking a look at both photos, they actually look pretty good. The colors are very similar on both. Now zooming in a little bit, you can tell the Note 5 is a lot more clear, more details, but both phones do fairly well. Now let me go ahead and test out the HDR mode on both of these phones. All right, HDR is on, ready? One, two, three. All right, with the Zenfone zoom. Ready, one, two, three. All right, taking a look at both photos, you can see the Note 5 and the Asus Zenfone Zoom both do fairly well. Zooming in, you can tell the Note 5 is slightly clear with more details. All right, but both phones did fairly well for HDR. In this next test, we're gonna do a zoom test of this aloe flower behind me. All right, using the Asus Zenfone Zoom, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 3X Zoom, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna set digital zoom on 3X and take a photo. All right, looking at the photo, the Note 5 didn't do that bad, but go ahead and zoom in a little bit. You can see that the Zenfone zoom does a ton better with clarity. Obviously with optical zoom, you don't lose that quality when zooming versus the Note 5. You do see a little bit of noise. The lines are not as sharp. So for macro photos, the Zenfone zoom may be the way to go. All right, let's do another zoom test. We're gonna go ahead and zoom in on the apartments down there. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 3X zoom and take a photo. Same thing, 3X digital zoom with the Note 5, take a photo. Taking a look at both photos again, uh, the Note 5 didn't do that bad. There is some noise. If you do zoom in a little bit, you can see the Zenfone zoom does a ton better with clarity, more details. If you need to zoom in, certainly the Asus Zenfone zoom will win out every time. Next, let's go ahead and move on to a video test. In this first test, we're gonna go ahead and do a panning test. There's OIS, optical image stabilization on both phones. Let's go ahead and compare. All right, the Zenfone zoom only does up to 1080p, so I'm gonna go ahead and use 1080p and record a video. Video. And pan. And I'm gonna stop here. Now one of the advantage of the Note 5, it does 4K. So let me go ahead and record in 4K. Ready, one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and slowly pan. And stop. All right, that's probably not a fair contest, but the Note 5 does offer 4K. The video itself is a lot more clear with detail, sharpness, but as far as stability, I would say they're about even. OIS on the Zenfone Zoom and the Note 5 is about even. All right, not bad. Let's do a zoom test. I've got this bottle of gum here, and we're gonna go ahead and record in 4K using the Note 5. Ready, one, two, three. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Zenfone Zoom. I'm gonna use the Zoom feature and zoom in 3X. Ready, one, two, three. All right, looking at the results, the Note 5 recorded in 4K, which is four times the amount of 1080p. Now, if we compare the 3X zoomed in video of the Zenfone Zoom, and also virtually zoomed in of the 4K video on the Note 5, you can clearly tell the usefulness of the Zenfone Zoom. It looks a lot more clear. So if you make videos and you need to do a lot of zoom, the Zenfone Zoom may be the way to go. All right, lastly but not least, let's do a front camera test. I'm gonna go ahead and pan from my right to left using the front camera. Now the Note 5 does 1440p versus 1080p on the Asus Zenfone Zoom. Ready, one, two, three. Hi guys, my name is Max Lee. I'm gonna go ahead and pan with my Note 5 and I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. How does my sound sound like? All right, with the Asus Zenfone Zoom. Hi guys, my name is Max Lee. I'm gonna go ahead and pan. How does my sound sound like? 
All right, taking a look at both videos, you can clearly see that the winner is the Note 5. You get a lot more details, a lot more clear. Also, when the background is very bright, you'll see that you can see most of my face with the Note 5 versus the Asus Zenfone Zoom struggles to even see most of my face. All right, that's pretty much it, but let me give you a wrap up. Basically, if you need any kind of zoom, and you want to take more photos and videos, the Asus Zenfone Zoom still may be a good phone to buy. But overall, I would say the Note 5 is a lot better in quality. The only time Note 5 failed to keep up with the Asus Zenfone Zoom was when it had to zoom. Anyway, the zoom feature is pretty awesome on the Zenfone Zoom. Even though the overall quality isn't as good as the Note 5, in those situations where you must zoom, it does a ton better than the Note 5, whether in bright light, low light. Just having that zoom optics inside the phone is pretty awesome in this slim format. This is the slimmest phone you can buy in the world right now with optical zoom. Anyway, I'll have a full review of the Zenfone zoom also. In the meanwhile, don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay... Stop.